I've tried doing this video a few times. I just talk too much. I waffle too much. I need to shut up. Yes, I'm back. I've taken a few weeks off. I needed sort of the breathing space. I'm not sure I'm ready to come back, but I kind of need to come back because I have obligations as it were. And I don't mean this in like in a negative way at all, but I do sort of work with Channel Mom and part of the agreement, if you are a sponsored vlogger, is to produce three videos a month. And I've got the utmost respect for that. Um, if you sign up to something, you should do the damn work. I mean, have a bit of respect in a sense, and I've taken my time off because I needed to, and I've got fully support anyone that takes time off from things like this. If they need that break, damn, I'll take the break, but then I need to kick myself off, but, but this is just the sort of person I am. Not mean to throw shade at anyone in any way, but in case I've accidentally offended anyone. I've taken my time off, i sulked a bit. I'm not fully over licking my wounds in some areas of life right now, gonna be honest, I'm not. Still kind of sulking, but, I need to sort of kick myself up the butt and get myself back at it. I am trying to figure out what I'm doing, where I'm going, and I just, as usual, I'm gonna be relatively honest. Um, people have said, you know, you should come back because you're gonna lose subscribers, you're gonna do this, and I don't care. I know that's the wrong attitude to have, and if this comes back to bite me on the butt, then so be it. But I don't really care. I'm not here to get loads of subscribers. Um, it's nice to grow, it's nice to feel like people are listening to you, it's like nice to feel successful, I would imagine, never been successful in any way on any platform. But um, if I was, I'm sure it'd be wonderful. And yes, of course, I'd love, I'd love the, um, I suppose affirmation is a good word, but then I don't, ugh, no, equally, I don't like gushy stuff, I could not deal with that. Um, but I'm not like the beauty community on YouTube. I shouldn't laugh. Oh my God, I feel so bad about so many different people right now. Uh, so team tatty, by the way. Um, I, yes, I would like to make money. That that would be great. Who doesn't? I'd like to be successful enough that I could take my kids to uh, Walt Disney World in Florida. However, I do not even remotely want to be known to the point that that would be a possibility. Like, I don't want to be that known. That terrifies me, the idea of walking. It's, it's bad enough when I've gone to Tesco because someone's recognised me and I'm, like, dying inside um, a little bit. Like, I love saying hi to people, but on the very, very rare occasion I am recognised, I do die inside because I just feel like, oh, God, this is just... I'm not... I don't have confidence like that. I don't. And... Um, yeah, to get to the point that I had enough money to take my kids to Florida, I would have to be huge. And I don't think I ever want to be there because there's so much negativity, so much nastiness. Rude. Train. Being rude. There's so much nastiness out there if you're of any success. I don't think anyone could really say anything bad about me that I haven't already thought about myself and worse. Though someone did say I needed God this morning because I had a baby for a gay couple, you know, God needs to step in, uh, Jesus take the wheel sort of thing. You're the end, the end of the world is coming because you had a baby for two gay men. Uh, I just suddenly thought I need to, st I need, right, if the end of the world is coming because I had a baby for gay men, I need to go on Amazon and order some sugar cubes. So I've got a treat for the four horses that come in the apocalypse because I bet no one ever gives them a treat and I wanna be the one that does, okay? If I can get close, but, um, I just think, yeah, I don't want to open myself up because we all have heard about these uh, sort of like gossipy sites that rip people to shreds. And, you know, I suppose if anyone ever did create a I could join in and be like, actually, what you don't know is I've done this. Uh, here's photos. No, I wouldn't. Um, but I don't really have much self-confidence and that scares me. But then I thought, for God's sake, grow up. How many people would kill to be a sponsored vlogger for Channel One? Like, so many. It's an amazing thing. It is. Um, so many people want it. And... Maybe I'm selfish because I'm not giving it to someone else, someone that would do what other people do. They're gonna be all like gorgeous and polished and blonde and have a show home and, and all of that lot. And, and I'm here just being short and fat and you know rotund and pointless and um, no good at self-promotion and do not live in a show home. I live in a zoo right now. There is five kittens downstairs. They are freaking adorable, but um, I'm not. But then I thought, no one else has been a surrogate, so, you know, brownie points. I want to help, genuinely. It sounds cheesy and, like, probably fake. It's not. I'm here because I want to help people. It's why I came to YouTube. I wanted to get the realities of surrogacy out there because I was fed up with listening to people saying, you make money, no, you don't. Or it's, it's gaudy or it's vulgar or it's this or it's that. And I'm like, no, it's really not. 
and then coming across people who had suffered like birth injuries and no one was talking about it. So I was trying not to be vulgar or, you know, anything like that, but equally support people that have gone through birth injury and sort of let them know that they're not alone. And then uh, becoming a parent to a child with special needs, but mental sort of special needs rather than physical ones like we're not in the hospital all the time and there's a lot of groups and support networks and stuff for um people with physical disabilities like peg feeds or um stuff like that like edith doesn't necessarily need meds except stuff to help her sleep melatonin uh and she's not like severely autistic she does talk so you're at the point where like some of the autism groups i don't feel like I've got the right to go in there and say I'm really struggling with this when someone else's child doesn't speak to them and my kid declares that, that she loves me 800 times a day and the worst thing is, is when she's launching at me for hugs she'll bash me in the face or something or she licks me because I know how ridiculously ridiculously blessed I am I'm so fortunate to have her in my life she is the most wonderful child named Edith ever if you ask me like the absolute best so it can feel a bit isolating to be in that sort of like limbo phase where they're not necessarily autistic enough, but they're still not like a neurotypical NT child. And that it does impact your life every single day. And it's really blinking hard sometimes. And it's just trying to find that. And I'm in that sort of gray area as it were. And I wanna support mums that are in that gray area too, because there are a lot of us. And sometimes you don't know what to say. You don't want to offend anyone because like, don't get me wrong, I've got really all the trains, all of the trains. Bastards. Um, I've got no issue really with offending people. I don't go out of my way to offend people, but I'm very much aware that, do you know what? Everyone's offended all of the time at the minute and you're not gonna spend your whole life not offending people. So just go with it. I just try and only offend people I'm choosing to offend because I feel that, I'm saying something worth offence. I know what I mean. This is why I don't blog. I am not good with words. Just thought I'm going to try and work on it and I'm going to try and push myself to do this um, because I am grateful for being part of something and I know I cannot be the only one that feels the way I do in life and I want to support those people. I don't want to be big. I don't want to be noticed. I don't want to be known. I don't care about numbers and ultimately that is probably not a good thing when you're online or anything like that but I'm gonna go with it until I'm told to bugger off pretty much I think I kind of got that kick up the butt to do it from some messages people have sent me and I'm really ridiculously touched I genuinely am so grateful for so many people that I've come across I've made some like actual real life friends that I adore um, sorry to Anna from Hey Mummy who wanted me to go and spend some time down with her and I really 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 wanted to do it and then I wimped out because I'm not good with people but I love her to pieces and I do want to go and hug her it's just trying to force myself to physically move and do something I struggle with that because I know I'm annoying and I don't want people to just like end up hating me because I'm so annoying so I struggle to push myself to actually go and meet people um which is really stupid. I'm not 12. In fact, my 13 and 11 year olds are both better at these sort of life skills than I am. I should probably take leaf out of their books. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try and focus. If anyone's got any ideas, as always do comment down below because I literally have got no idea what I'm doing for the most part. But I did think like once a month, I'm gonna do a video about being a special needs parent, trying to support people. If there's any areas you want me to cover or stories you want me to share like i said with the vagina monologues if there's anyone wants to actually do a video with me to share their opinion let me know people say they want to and then nothing really happens and i say hey do you want to do this and they don't really come back to me and i'm like oh, they changed mine because i think actually doing it is very different to saying it like when you're trying to meet people you really want to do it and then actually taking that step to literally do it is uh mildly terrifying and you can't do it so i totally get that um also hopefully maybe videos about having teens or tweens without humiliating my children so um maybe do some things like ideas for what they can do but I really don't think that would get very far because I don't know what I'm doing and again it would have to be all within their acceptance and that's where we might struggle because they might just be like uh no um and then one thing I want to maybe I'm trying to push myself to do it and trying to be brave and that is videos about building up self-worth when you're a mum, you 
everything changes, how you look at life changes. You become the frame, not the picture. You are eaten by guilt if you ever put yourself first, or I am. And yet equally at times you feel like you're gonna lose your mind if you don't put yourself first. Like you're just, you're always second fiddle and sometimes it can be exhausted feeling like that. And I've gotten to this point where I know I'm not as important and I don't want to be as important as my children. But equally, I need to build myself back up because how am I going to put my children out into the world, especially my tween daughter who's going to become a teenager soon? How am I going to send her out in the world with, with this self-confidence and self-worth and the, the right sort of attitude to succeed in life when I can't pass those skills on because I don't possess them? So for her sake, I really want to kick myself up the butt and try and build who I am so I'm gonna hopefully do a few videos about that uh, like one a month where I'm looking at different things be it like talking about dieting maybe to change how I look physically but I will never advise people on a diet to do because I'm not a nutritionist I would just maybe share what I am doing I'm not advising anyone else that they need to do the same thing oh dear lord really why why all the trains yeah trying to build myself up but hopefully like a lot of us working on things so it's something you want to work through i don't mind doing the research and doing a video about it and going you know we could try this for this thing and you know helping help build up other mum other women because I'm sick to death of seeing people tear each other down to build themselves up, to make themselves feel better by screwing another person over. Do you know what? I'm done with people doing that. So I want to help build people up. I want to help make people feel better. And if I have to embarrass myself a little bit to do that, then you know what? I'm going to give it my best. I may fail massively because I'm basically a gigantic F up of life. But I'm going to try, okay? So that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'm going to get off now because I've sp spoken for way too blinking long. I will speak to you all soon. Please do leave comments and ideas because otherwise I'm just this widow on the internet that just feels like an extra large widow, both physically and, you know, like that. Um, losing the words to speak right now. And yeah, I will speak to you all later. Bye.